yes oh yes this is the viewing tower of the falls you can see this is so here i am finally at the fong pui peak the blue mountain peak I am now at the Tropic of Cancer on my way from uh, Aizol to Phong Pui National Park and uh, this is the virtual Tropic of Cancer line that passes through the northeast of India through Mizoram this particular place so I am on my way to Vantong Falls which is the highest plunge falls in the state of Mizoram and uh, actually heading through the waterfalls to Phong Pui National Park uh, which is my next national park my next destination so Vantong Falls is kind of on the way Oh yes, oh yes, this is the viewing tower of the falls You can see this is... Oh yeah, oh yes, I can see the falls Wow, here you are, you can see the falls over there they are so beautiful, amazing. On my way to Phong Pui National Park and uh, I'm, I will be reaching in another three hours. Uh, this part of the northeast, uh, the national parks are very very remote and uh, like the Dumpa Tiger Reserve, uh, this particular park is uh, around uh, 14 hours drive from where I started driving towards this park. I want you to just have a look of this particular wooden bridge it is not a wooden bridge actually it's a hanging steel bridge but the base of the bridge is completely made out of wooden planks and there is this Tuipui river this bridge is actually on the Tuipui river in Mizoram you can see there is, this is beautiful view worrying but it was good I've crossed the river so yeah This village called Darzo which is uh, around 20 kilometers from the Phong Pui National Park and uh, here right behind me over here you can see there is this beautiful valley with a layer of clouds which looks like as if somebody has put a layer of cotton over it and uh, there is this viewpoint over here made right by the road over here that that's my car parked over there and uh, from this viewpoint the view of this complete valley is simply mesmerizing and splendid so i am at around 1300 meters above the sea level approximately and uh, the view from a year is as if when i am at around 30,000 feet above the sea level in a aeroplane so the view that i'm getting right now is exactly the same it looks like i am above the top of the world right now and i can see everything below seen something like this uh, from such an elevation such a low elevation actually around 1000 1200 meters 
and uh, rather meghalaya is called the abode of the clouds but i never had such a beautiful view of the layer of clouds even in meghalaya so really really looking forward uh, to be in the phongpui national park uh, the remotest national park in northeast it took me 15 hours to reach this park national park in mizoram this is also called the blue mountain peak national park because that's how the mountain peak looks like bluish in color when it is surrounded by a layer of cloud so that's where i'm heading right now Uh, this village called Thalthlang which is uh, the base camp for my exploration of the Phongpui National Park and uh, this is also the place from where I will get the entry permit inside the park so this is what I have been informed there is always this uncertainty around uh, national parks in india about the tourism policies and the entry policies uh when you are driving and you are ascending or descending there is this layer of cloud that actually pass through the window of of my car like enter from the left hand side window and exit from the right hand side so i i've had those moments So here I am at the entry permit counter of the Phong Pui National Park in Mizoram. Little cloudy. Uh, probably this is how it is in the winters over here. Uh, not a very clear day. But the charm of this place is simply mesmerizing. Uh, when you see the moving clouds around you and the layer of the clouds in the valley, all below you, you feel like you are. on top of the world and uh, look feels like you have the aeroplane view i would say when you are up 30000 feet above and you're looking at the clouds below when you're flying so that's the view you get over here at 1400 meters above the sea level and here you can see the house of the forest guard that is coming along with me over here is elevated over here and uh, he has a lovely valley view behind or valley view of the phongpui national park so yeah it's amazing so there is a big language problem over here he, the forest guard does not understand hindi or english so every time i need to talk to him i need to look for somebody in the village who can understand hindi or english so that i can communicate with him it took me good 15 minutes to make him explain that i want to enter the park i want to explore the park and i need a permit so yeah it was fun part and parcel of the exploration experience i am having uh, on my journey to see all the national parks tiger reserves elephant reserves biosphere reserves and world heritage sites of a beautiful and splendid country cherry blossom tree on my trail to the blue mountain peak the highest peak in mizoram so i am actually 
driving on the ridge and I can see the valley down over there uh, through the bushes and I can also see the clouds passing through the bushes so this is an amazing experience I am only 1500 meters above the sea level right now and uh, the Feng Pui peak is at 2200 meters so once I reach Far Park uh, which is drivable uh, by a 4x4 I will have to do a trek of approximately 2 kilometers to reach the peak So I am here at the grasslands on the plateau of the Blue Mountain Peak and this place is called Far Park It's a lovely grassland so I am at 2000 meters above the sea level right now. So that is the forest rest house in the Fangpui National Park for Park. Honestly, I don't even know the name of the person who is coming with me. There is there's so much communication gap between us uh, because of the language issues that although I asked him his name for a couple of times and he might have mentioned me the name and we are going to trek together to the top of the peak right over there that is the Feng Kui peak trail to the Feng Pui peak in the Feng Pui National Park <laughs> uh, I have reached a ridge over here where this is a viewpoint and from here I can see two distinct villages both the villages are on the mountain peak on the ridge and one village is in Mizoram in India and the other village on the other side of the valley is Myanmar, Burma. So yet again, I am very close to a new international border. I have been to so many international borders on this journey. What a journey it has been. Uh, the view from here is simply amazing. I can see the clouds moving swiftly over the valley over here. Pongpui Peak, lovely trail. entering a dense bamboo plantation on the trail to the Fongpui Peak. This looks as if this is a tunnel. <laughs> So 
here I am finally at the Fong Pui peak, the Blue Mountain peak, the highest peak in Mizoram. The view from here is simply mesmerizing. So when I say when I am at the highest peak of the state of Mizoram, that means that the rest of the state of the Mizoram is below me. Wow, how amazing is that? Amazing, amazing. What a, what a trek it was. It was a lovely trail. Uh, around two hours approximately from far park guest house from where we started so it is uh, approximately seven kilometers uh, you can see the clouds over here see the cloud cloud is actually passing through me right now uh, I am actually standing on the ridge there is a valley down over there which is approximately 2,000 to 3,000 feet in depth and uh, this is what I love about Mizoram the clouds they are so amazing <laughs> 